Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie Diane. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning to hang out with me again, what's up? Welcome back. I'm so excited, guys. Man, we got some real good stuff to talk about today. So, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. First things first, I can tell you that I'm good for falling off. Let's just keep it honest with ourselves. Sometimes it's really hard to be consistent. Sometimes it's really hard to stick with the plan. Sometimes you get a little distracted and you fall off your game. It's okay. Happens to all of us. I'm in the middle of it right now. Like, it's so me right now. It's my life, my truth. So, <laughs> I was eating super clean, doing my thing, working out, going crazy, going, just doing my thing. And then, I don't even really know what knocked me off, but I got knocked off. I have not been eating good. I can feel it, which I don't like. I can see it. My face is getting a little, little swole up. <laughs> and I can just like feel that feeling of, man, I done fell off again. So this is one thing that I definitely want to tell you before we get started into my tips for getting it back on track. Number one thing, if you don't remember anything else, you got to remember this. It's okay. It's totally okay. You fall off and get back up, you fall, or you fall down and get back up as many times as you need to. As many times as you need to. It's a part of the process. See, I used to feel really guilty and beat myself up about like falling off track. And really, it means that I'm trying. Mistakes just means that you're trying. It means that you're, you're taking your journey into the right direction when you're making mistakes. Like it's totally... A beautiful part of the process because it's like all right cool I know what knocked me down that time so next time if I'm faced with that I know how to deal with it I know how to overcome it and that's where I'm at with it so I am at a point I can't believe I'm saying this I am <laughs> can't believe it I'm at a point guys where it's not even about the weight loss what yes it's not even about the weight it's not even about that. It's about how I am feeling every day. It's about my moods. It's about my brain function. It's about the way that I'm breathing. It's about my actual like physical health. Like weight loss, honestly, is easy. I can do a fad. I can lose some weight. I can go meatless. I can lose some weight. I can cut out dairy and sugar. I can lose some weight. And I can totally fall right off of that bandwagon and gain it all back again. The point is for me right now in this journey where God has me is that I have to do what's right for my physical well-being. And that is really what I'm all about, even though I have not been acting like it at all. Deep down inside, I know that's what I'm about. Like I'm about health, wellness, like waking up in the morning with energy. I'm about breathing easy, not getting winded, walking up your stairs. I'm about super high vibrations, which honestly your food can contribute to your vibrations. We will do a video on that later, but I'm all about it. So I fell off, whatever, sue me, judge if you must. I'm getting back on, I'm getting back on the, on the wagon. I'm getting back on the train. My journey has not stopped. I will never quit. I don't care how many times I fall down. I'm going to get back up again, and I want the same for you. I don't care. I'll fall down in front of you. You'll see me crash and burn right here on this channel, and I'll get right back up, and I'm going to go right back at it because that's who I am. So, <laughs> so um, now that I got that off my chest, I've had my preachy moment for the day. Um, we're going to talk about some tips that's going to help you get yourself back on track, get back focused, get your head back in the game to reach all of your goals, all of your dreams. We're in June. We got six months left in this year, like plenty of time for you to crush every single goal that you set in January. I'm right here with you. We're going to do this together. So let's get into it. Tip number one. You have got to constantly remain inspired. Now, I have friends, I have 
associates, people who have told me like, oh, inspiration and motivation ain't real. You know, it falls. You got to push past it. You got to do this stuff, you know, when you don't feel motivated. I agree with that to an extent. Yeah, you got to push past that feeling of not really wanting to get up in the morning to go work out. I, I, I get that. I'm here for that part. But I'm also a believer in you got to constantly be pouring into your own inspiration, your own motivation. Watch some videos, learn something new, learn a new workout, learn a new recipe. It has to be a constant thing. Like when I was really going hard in the paint with eating clean. I was constantly watching Tabitha Brown videos, learning more about eating clean. I was constantly reading books, reading articles, learning more about how foods affect our bodies, how they affect our disease, the diseases that we have. And I just kept reading. I kept learning. I kept watching videos. I kept listening, looking for podcasts, looking for more information. And it just kept me pumped. It kept me going. So one, like your number one thing, this is why this is tip number one. Number one thing is figure out or find some things to keep you inspired and don't be afraid to indulge in them daily. Forget what people say. You make your own rules in this whatever it, it, it's free game i watch a video in the morning of somebody working out i learn new workouts i learn how to work out new muscles i used to lift weights i've always played sports i i know all about working out but there's always something that i can learn there's always something that's come up there's some exercises i never did back in the day so there's always something you can learn i'm learning new recipes i just made a, a lentil red curry like a thai red curry it was bomb never made it before i never liked curry actually and it was bomb and it was crazy and like i love it and it just it's inspiring that's how you remain inspired tip number two this is actually more important than number one i probably should have put this at, at number one but it's gonna be a support it's a supportive tip <laughs> Tip number two is you got to reconnect with God. You got to reconnect with your source. You got to reconnect with the creator, with the father. It, it, I'm going to tell y'all, if I go a day without spending time with God and I'm guilty that I have those moments of being like, oh, I'm good. I'm feeling good. I can, I can skip a day. I ain't got to read my Bible. The Lord knows my heart. Mm -mm. No, uh-uh. Stop that. That's not what we do. Every single day, you have to renew your mind. You have to renew your spirit. You have got to stay connected to the Father every day. Staying connected to your creator helps you to be centered and grounded and focused on who you are, what your purpose is, what your goals are, ultimately your day in and day out decision making for you to even reach those goals it all starts from the that's why we call him source he is the source of it all so if you're not staying connected with source you're probably gonna fall off i've done it it be like that sometimes reconnect with god reconnect with the source tip number three if you are struggling to get yourself back on track and you feel like you've lost your way, one of the, the best things you can do is a detox. Now, let me be clear. Detoxing is not just for foods. It's not just clean juices or juice cleanses. Um, it's not just veggie diets. It's not just going meatless for a week. It's not just that. Detoxing is do not disturbing your phone. Detoxing is deleting your social media apps for a week or longer, if you need that. Detoxing is cleansing your body. Detoxing is taking a break from TV. That's me. It's <laughs> my weakness. Detoxing is stepping away from those things that distract you. That, that will, woo, that'll set you right. It'll get you back on track. You have got to separate yourself from the things that distract you because distraction is what fuels 
the feeling of being lost because you're not focused. Distraction fuels that feeling of laziness, procrastination, not feeling motivated. It's the distraction. I would much rather sit on my couch and watch MasterChef. I would much rather um, scroll through Instagram than to get up and go work out. Like, of course, because it's comfortable. Distractions are always comfortable. Well, I wouldn't say always. Almost always super comfortable for us. And so you have to do away with your distractions because they slow you down. They distract you. <laughs> do -do they do distract you and they... <laughs> They mess up your motivation and your drive and they just make you feel lost. So that would be tip number three, guys. Detox from whatever it is that you need to detox from. You know. I don't know, but you know. Tip number four. All right, tip number four, guys. It is the three, two, one rule. I cannot remember the person, the lady that I heard this from. I know she's a motivational speaker and she's an author and I can see her face, but I can't remember her name. Guys, sometimes I'm not that good with names. But she has the three, two, one rule, which basically is supposed to help you like um, jumpstart yourself into doing something you don't want to do. Like waking up at three in the, or not three, 4.30 in the morning. I will three, two, one, jump and just hop up. Now it's tough. I won't even like pretend like it's super easy, but it helps. It helps me so much. Even not even just getting up in the morning. Like sometimes I don't feel like starting dinner. I love to cook. It's the funniest thing. I love cooking. Cooking is therapeutic for me, but sometimes I just don't want to get up after I've gotten comfortable in whatever spot that I'm sitting in and I don't want to get up and go cook. So I just three, two, one, go. And I just pop up. And then by the time you get up, you're ready to go. It's the same with starting your workout. It's a similar concept to just work out for 10 minutes. And then after you've been going for 10 minutes in your mind, you're like, man, I might as well keep going. It's the same concept. You three, two, one, pop up, you're up. Might as well go ahead and do whatever it is that you were going to do. So yeah, that's tip number four. Tip number five. Now this is for all of my beautiful fitness journey people who find it hard sometimes to get up and go work out. I'm gonna tell you, 4.30 in the morning for a workout is tough. But the thing, this I don't know if this will work for you, but this works for me. I am 100% of the time happier after my workout in the morning. And not only that, I'm happy for the rest of the day. Come what may, I'm happy. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it matters. Of course, you know, if something really falls apart, I'm gonna be upset. But for the most part, I just handle my troubles, my struggles, whatever. I just handle it so much better. I'm nicer, I'm bubblier, I laugh more. I'm just happier. The endorphins, you know, they, the happy hormones, they just get to going and I'm good. So at 4.30 when that alarm goes off, I have two, 4.30 and 4.35. Between that window, I tell myself, think about how good you're going to feel when that workout is done. Because I know that feeling. That feeling is euphoric. It's beautiful. Um, and, and working out that early in the morning is also an opportunity for me to spend time with God and to really hear his voice. I don't know why he speaks while I'm working out, but it works for us. It's our thing. And so after hearing speaking to God and working out, I'm just pumped. I'm ready to go. Ready, ready to start my day. You can't stop me. I, I, I'm on one. It's beautiful. So just tell yourself your reward like yeah i'm gonna get this run in but imagine how great i'm gonna feel afterwards yeah i gotta get up early so i can spend time with god but imagine how great i'm gonna feel afterwards yeah i gotta go ahead and write this paper but imagine how good i'm gonna feel once it's done and it's off my back that was me too <laughs> um so yeah Sometimes it can be hard to push yourself, but focusing on that, all right, I got to do this for me. Showing up for yourself, like, all right, 
making myself feel really good throughout the day, um, being happy, being more energized for my children, being more energized for my family to cook for them, to whatever, hang out with them, play board games because we big on the board games around here. Like all of that means a lot to me. So my workout is the beginning of it. When my workout is bomb, my day is bomb. And, and that's, that's tip number five. <laughs> So yeah, those are my tips, guys, to get yourself back on track. I know what it feels like. I'm in the middle of it. Um, you may can't see it right now, but I am like broken out all over my face. I just, I, I just fell off completely, 100%. I ain't got no excuse for it. I fell off, but I'm getting right back up. I'm right back in the game. It's healthy time now. It's focus time now. I'm on it. And I hope that this video inspired you. I hope this video motivated you. And for anybody who's struggling right now, struggling to pick yourself back up, to refocus, to feel your purpose, I'm here for you. You are my people. I get what you're going through. End of story, period. I am here for you. If there's something that you want me to cover, something that you need to hear, uh, you want to hear my um, thoughts or... Um, opinions on man leave me a comment below like I want to know what you what you guys need from me because I'm here to, to serve I'm here to um, just be a light into this world so with that being said I'm gonna close out this video with a prayer so yeah let's get into it Holy Father thank you so much thank you for this opportunity for me to represent you to be a light um, in a reflection of your love. God, I pray for anybody who may be struggling right now, anybody who may just be in need, anybody who feels lost, anyone who feels like they're stuck. Um, I pray that you reignite their motivation, reignite their imagination, God. Come and, come and meet them where they are and reveal your life-changing, life-restoring power to them and those around them. We love you, God, and we're so grateful for you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad you chose to hang out with me for a little bit. If you are... Uh, how am I going to say this? I had a script. I don't remember what it was. Okay, motivational speech. So, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's my family.